Welcome everyone. I am Dr. Jeff Johnson, the Laura and Russ Talbot Endowed President and CEO of the Iowa State University Alumni Association. I'm excited to have all of you here to help us honor our 2022 Wallace E. Barron All-University Senior Award recipients. The Wallace E. Barron All-University Senior Award was established in 1968 and is given annually to seven outstanding seniors who display high character, outstanding achievement in academics and university and community activities, and promise for continuing these exemplary qualities as alumni. The award is named for Wallace E. Red Barron, who graduated from Iowa State in 1928 and later served as Director of Alumni Affairs at Iowa State from 1937 to 1968. To be chosen as one of the seven students for this award speaks volume about the accomplishments that each of these students has attained. Before we begin today's program, I would like to do two things. I'd first like for all of us to join together in a moment of silence for the war going on in Ukraine. We honor the people of Ukraine for which 44 of them are Iowa Staters. Please join me in this moment of silence if you would. Thank you. Next, I'd recognize and thank those who nominated our 2022 Wallace E. Barron recipients, as well as those who have mentored and supported our awardees, whether that be a family member, university professor or staff member, or friend. Thank you. Since 1968, 207 students and former students have been bestowed this honor. So this is a very special group of individuals. And speaking of former recipients, we were able to recently connect with several former Wallace E. Barron recipients spanning the last 20 years who wanted to share their congratulations with today's recipients. Congratulations to each of you on your being selected as a 2022 All University Wallace E. Barron Outstanding Senior Award recipient. Receiving this award recognizes your many years of scholarship, scholarly work, leadership, and community service on Iowa State's campus and in the Ames community. I'm Tim Becker, a 1994 graduate in construction engineering and also a Barron Award recipient. My family and I live in Glenwood, Iowa. I'm recording this video from Kiewit headquarters in downtown Omaha, Nebraska. As you leave the campus and go out into the world, I wish you tremendous success. And along that way, I hope you'll take time to give back to those Cyclones that are coming behind you. Congratulations again and go Cyclones. Aloha 2022 Wallace C. Barron Award winners. What a phenomenal group of impactful female leaders you all are. It was so inspiring reading each of your stories. And I am sure that each of you will go on to continue to make Iowa State proud as alumni. Congratulations and Cardinal and Gold for life. What great tributes. Thanks again to all of our former Wallace E. Barron awardees who participated in this video and all former awardees who are watching with us today. Now it is time to recognize each of our 2022 Wallace E. Barron All University Senior Award recipients. I was honored to host most of the recipients in person earlier this month for lunch. I came away from that experience even more impressed with the caliber of students we have here at Iowa State University. I will be reading an abbreviated bio on each recipient. Please know each has a long list of accomplishments and activities in which they've been involved. Their full bios can be found on the Alumni Association's website and linked in the comments section. Let's recognize our honorees. Morgan Fritz has made a lasting impression on the ISU community throughout her time on campus, including serving as the student government president and being appointed by President Wendy Winterstein to serve on the ISU committee to establish principles on renaming. This group was charged with developing a policy to ensure a consistent and thoughtful means by which to evaluate historical naming and honors. 
Within the Department of Political Science, Morgan represented ISU at the 72nd Student Conference on U.S. Affairs and has received a Dean's High Impact Award for research on rural politics. Outside of ISU activities, Fritz has served on the State of Iowa Juvenile Justice Advisory Council as an advocate for human rights, working with local government officials to improve and provide guidance for the state's justice system. One of her nominators wrote, Ms. Fritz has positioned herself to advance the conversation and ideas that improve student life and the academic experience. Congratulations, Morgan. Belinda Hoffman represents herself and the ISU community with tremendous character and pride. While maintaining a spot at the top 2% of her senior class, Hoffman is invested in the ISU community. As a global thinker, Hoffman assisted the Iowa State University Uganda program in agricultural development projects that advance food and nutrition systems. This helped infants, children, mothers, and farmers in Kamali, Uganda. As president of the Students Helping Our Peers, our shop, ISU Campus Food Pantry, Hoffman continues her commitment to solving issues of food security, nutrition, and health. She spreads awareness of food security and hunger problems in our world to the ISU community. Her nominator wrote, Belinda Hoffman exemplifies the character and leadership on issues of societal and global importance that an ISU education provides to its students. Congratulations, Belinda. Javalis Mirren Castro is an active and vocal member of the ISU community in many ways. A member of the University Honors Program, Castro was also a peer mentor for the Academic Program of Excellence, mentoring first-year students from underrepresented communities. Castro serves on the Department of Natural Resource Ecology and Management's Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee, where she advocates for equitable and inclusion initiatives for students. In addition, she has presented personal research at the Thomas L. Hill Iowa State Conference on Race and Ethnicity in 2019 and 2020, and at the National Conference on Race and Ethnicity in 2019. Says one nominator, Javalis is an amazing person, an outstanding student with commendable aspirations. She is passionate about both veterinary medicine and social justice, as has been proven through all her different commitments and experiences. Congratulations, Javalis. Throughout her time at ISU, Peyton McDonald has excelled in all positions she's held. She is an undergraduate research assistant for the ISU Veterinary Microbiology and Preventive Medicine Department, where she hones her veterinary skills in many ways. In the honors program, she is a tutor and teaching assistant for upper level chemistry courses. She inspires others by sharing her love of science and learning, serving as a role model for many. During her time at ISU, she was a classroom assistant at Cape Mitchell Elementary School in Ames and was a group leader for the 2019 World Food Program Global Youth Institute. Her list of accomplishments and activities is impressive, but more importantly, Everything she does makes a difference for others, one nominator wrote. Peyton will forever represent the excellence of the Iowa State University experience. Congratulations, Peyton. Hannah Morrow is the epitome of resilience. In middle school and high school, Morrow was subjected to abuse from her gymnastics coach. During her senior year of high school, she testified in court against her abuser. Following this, Morrow was honored with the Arthur Ashe Courage Award at the ESPY Awards. Morrow lent her voice to efforts to pass the Empowering Olympics, Paralympics, and Amateur Athletes Act of 2019. This act established safeguards to protect athletes from abuse. Morrow also served as an honored speaker at the Women's Empowerment Leadership Conference held at Iowa State. Morrow formed and served as the inaugural president of the Iowa State Sports Media Club on campus. She also served as a Greenlee School peer mentor. Morrow graduated in the fall of 2021 with honors. 
She is currently a production assistant on SportsCenter at ESPN. Simply put by one of her nominators, she is one of the most courageous and inspirational people I have ever met. Congratulations, Hannah. Sydney Paris is a born leader. She chooses to lead in any opportunity given to her. She has been a research assistant for the Department of Food Science and Human Nutrition and the Department of Veterinary Diagnostics and Production Animal Medicine at Iowa State. Through these roles, she has advanced her professional skills and gained crucial experience in her field. Throughout her time at ISU, Sydney has been involved in an array of student organizations, clubs, and committees. Sydney has been president of eight different organizations, including Cardinal Key Honor Society, Phi Sigma Pi National Honors Fraternity, and Beta 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 Biological Honors Society. Despite her demanding schedule, Sydney has been on the Dean's List consistently. Without a doubt, Sydney will continue to be a leader even after her time at ISU has come to an end. Congratulations, Sydney. Veda Wilkins inspires others through her humble, lead by example approach. Since her second semester, she has mentored more than 400 freshman students for engineering problem solving and computational laboratory. Throughout her time in this role, she has mentored over 400 freshman students. Veda's contributions to the department have been instrumental, a nominator wrote. Her high character, including her ability to mentor and impassion other students is unparalleled. Wilkins also works with the American Society of Civil Engineers, a student chapter at ISU. One of the group's projects included a day-long trip to Ledger State Park where Wilkins and her peers repaired bridge decks and constructed new handrails. Between excelling academically, being a role model for fellow students, and growing her engineering expertise, Wilkins has proven to be an inspiration in each role she takes on. Congratulations, Veda. And congratulations again to you all. Each of you has achieved so much in the short time you have been at Iowa State. It's no secret why you were chosen to receive this award. Thanks for making the best of your Iowa State adventure. I'm confident you will continue to make an impact on Iowa State University and the world during your alumni adventures. Let me share a bit about the ISU ring that you all will receive as part of this recognition. What you may not know is the tradition behind this ring and how you are to actually wear it. When you are still a student, the words Iowa State University, which are embossed on the top of your ring, should face you. This is a reminder of the goals that you have yet to achieve. Notice that the campanile is pointing out towards your future. Once you officially graduate, which some of you have already achieved, you put your ring on with Iowa State University facing outwards and the campanile pointing towards you. This signifies that the goal of becoming an Iowa State alum has been reached and should serve as a constant reminder that even though you have physically transitioned from Iowa State, you will always be a part of Iowa State University. The ring bears many other Iowa State symbols. To read about all of these, please visit our website. And in closing, I invite each of you to become Alumni Association members at your earliest convenience. My staff and I look forward to getting to know you better and work with you to meet your alumni needs and that of others. Congratulations again. This concludes our recognition ceremony. Thank you again for being here to support this wonderful group of awardees.